Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Manchester United could demolish Old Trafford after Qatari takeover. Manchester United buyers have 10 days to submit bids. Now like I mentioned this morning, Qatari investors are planning a massive offer for Manchester United. The group are confident the bid will blow rivals away. Should the takeover happen, Eric Ten Hag will be handed a huge transfer kitty. It mentions that Emaya of Qatar is interested in buying Man United for 4.5 billion. Manchester United could be blocked from playing in the Champions League next season because of UEFA rules around club ownership. As you all know, for quite some time, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been interested in buying Manchester United. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is Britain's richest man. He's the chairman of In EOS. The Glazers are looking for around £6 billion to sell Man United, but they could receive up to £8 billion. He said... Um, Quite a few weeks ago that the club's aim to be sold by the summer transfer window. We've got to get the Glazers out of the club because they've been a massive issue at the club for such a long time. And that explains why for such a long time United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for 17 years. They purchased the club for around £790 million back in 2005. So that's more news on that. I um, mean, anything else updates, you know, I'll be doing another video on it. Now, you know the news on the transfers. Uh, yesterday, I mentioned, didn't I, that Talk Sports said that Man United had a 100 million bid for Declan Rice last summer rejected. Uh, West Ham are open to selling for 120 million plus add ons. Arsenal and Chelsea are interested as well as Man United. Revert back to last year, Man United wanted Declan Rice, but we decided to get Casemiro and Christine Eriksen instead. Declan Rice is predominantly defensive midfielder but can be deployed as a centre-back. Rice has been at West Ham for nine years. He joined West Ham's youth system in 2014, broke into their senior squad back in 2017. And he's made 188 appearances in the Premier League and scored seven goals. He's under contract with West Ham until 2024. There's been a lot of narratives coming out regarding Victor Schiemann, like I've already updated you on. Uh, reports from Italy suggest that Man United are willing to pay £107 million for Victor Schiemann from Napoli. Chelsea are also in for him. Chelsea not so long ago. Paid 107 million for Enzo Fernandez. And Harry Kane, as you all know, Tottenham Hotspur will not sell Harry Kane to a Premier League rival. Harry Kane is urged against move. You know, Harry Kane is Tottenham's all time leading goal scorer. Um, he's got 200 Premier League goals. His 200th Premier League goal came in Tottenham's 1-0 win against Manchester City last weekend. I think Harry Kane will be Man United's number one summer 
transfer target. I think Tottenham are going to want more than £100 million for him. Kane has won the Golden Boot quite a few times at Tottenham. He's been at Tottenham for 19 years. He joined Tottenham's Youth Academy in 2004, broke into their senior squad back in 2011. He's under contract with Tottenham till 2024. Before, he's had loan spells with Millwall, Norwich, Leicester and later Orient. <laughs> but as you all know, it's hard to purchase players from Tottenham because Daniel Lever, you know, is very ruthless when it comes to... To transfers. But yeah, like I've mentioned, Ten Hag is looking to make more signings in the summer transfer window. On the other side of things, Ten Hag is preparing a summer clear out. It recently said that Eric Ten Hag put Anthony Martial up for sale. It also mentions that Harry Maguire and Alex Tellez are allowed to leave. Um, McTominay. He's been mentioned as well, so too was Donny van der Beek. So, Tenar could get rid of up to six players in the summer. So far, Tenar has endured two transfer windows as Man United manager. Back in January, Tenar brought three players in on loan. He brought Marcel Sabitzer in on loan until the end of the season. We only brought Sabitzer in because of Christian Eriksen's injury blow. Sabitzer is in line to make his Manchester United debut tonight. Well, that's his full debut, by the way, because he came on the Medis debut in the 2-1 win against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. Uh, Ten Hag also brought Weghorst in on loan. He's got one goal for the club so far. And he brought Jack Butland in on loan. Revert back to last summer. Tenard brought the likes of Terrell Molassia in, Christine Eriksen, Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro, Antin Dubravka. Tenard has spent over £200 million so far as Manchester United manager. Let me put into the equation, he's got rid of a lot of players as well since he came in. Earlier on this year, we saw Dishon Bernard go out on loan to Portsmouth. Axel Tuanzebe went out on loan to Stoke. Uh, we loaned Charlie Savage out to Forest Green. Sherlock Shaw Tyre got loaned out to Bolton this year. Uh, last year, a lot of players left. You know, Ronaldo got sacked. Ronaldo's now in Saudi Arabia playing for Al Nassar. Cavani and Mata left on free transfers. Lingard left on a free to go to Forest. Pogba and Matic left on frees. Pogba went back to Juventus and Matic went to Roma. Ten Hag sold James Garner to Everton. He sold Andrews Pereira to Fulham. Loaned Annabelle Meach Brout to Birmingham. Loaned Amad Diallo Traore out to Sunderland. Loaned Ethan Laird out to QPR. Loaned Telez out to Sevilla. Like I've said, he's looking likely he's going to go permanently in the summer. Loaned Eric Bay out to Marseille. Last year, loaned Dean Enton out to Nottingham Forest. Lee Grant left the club. So, there are a lot of the players that have left since Eric Ten Hag came in. Ten Hag is a good manager. You can see the progress he's made as Man United manager so far. He's got us to the Carabao Cup final. Man United are playing Newcastle in the final. Um, it's Newcastle's first Wembley final since 1999. Man United played Newcastle in the FA Cup final back in 1999, don't forget. You know, Ten Hag did mention that winning against Newcastle will be tough because they've been good this season, Newcastle. Uh, they've been good since they had that takeover by the Saudi Arabians. But after the win... Against Forest in the second leg, you know, Ten Hag said it's good to reach a final, but it's about winning it. He wants a trophy, Ten Hag, he's made that clear. You know, Man United are looking to end their six-year trophy drought. 
Ten Hag's also got us to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Uh, we will be playing West Ham. And he's got us into up to third in the Premier League. And revert back to the start of this season. I did say Ten Hag's expectations this season is to get Man United a top four finish. This has been his first full season as Man United manager. You know, don't forget last year he got named Premier League Manager of the Month. He's been the United manager for around nine or ten months. He got appointed in as the Man United manager in April last year. He's under contract with Man United till 2025. And he's Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Because obviously Man United have let five managers go since Ferguson. Obviously, after Ferguson we had Moyes, we sacked him. After like eight or nine months, he only enjoyed a short managerial tenure at the club. Man United finished seventh under Moyes. After that we had Van Gaal. We sacked Van Gaal after like two years. We did win the FA Cup under him. After that, we had Mourinho, sacked him after two and a half years. He enjoyed one good season at Man United because he won three trophies in his first season, but he was poor in his second season. And prior to 10 hour coming, I think that's the last time Man United were good in the first season under Mourinho. The reasons it didn't work out under Mourinho is because he had bad disputes with the board and bad disputes with the top players and that. After Mourinho had Oli, uh, Man United sacked Oli Solskjaer in November 2021. Over a year ago now. Solskjaer, you know, we had good periods under him. You know, in his first full season, got us a third place finish. In his second season, got us a second place finish. He got us to the Europa League final, got us to semi-finals. But we didn't win anything under Oli. And after that, Man United had Ralph Rangnick as interim manager. He was Man United's interim manager for around five months. <laughs> so there you go. And in the last 10 years or so, Man United have spent over £1 billion. The last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. That's 10 years ago now. It's going to be hard for anybody to replicate what Sir Alex Ferguson did at the club. Alex Ferguson, greatest manager of all time. He brought success to Manchester United. He won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles. But he didn't settle in straight away because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. Alex Ferguson was the Man United manager for around 26 years, so he was a long-serving manager. Um, Ten years ago, Ferguson retired. Obviously, before Ferguson, we had the likes of Ron Atkinson. As far as I'm aware, weren't that good under him. One point, we had Wilf McGuinness. Weren't that good under him. We had Frank O'Farrell. He passed away, was it, a year or two ago now? We got relegated under him back in 1974. One point, obviously, we had Sir Matt Busby. So, yeah. As you all know, though, Manchester United play Leeds tonight at 8 o'clock. Um, I've already given you the preview for the game. I give you my predictions and that for the game. I predicted 11. Obviously, on the preview video, that video was before Jesse Marsh officially got sacked by Leeds. Same with the prediction video. Um, it had actually just got announced that he'd been sacked, Jesse Marsh, after I'd done the video. So, anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes, below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.